I'm gonna show you guys how to set up War Robots controls on LD player. So first thing you wanna do is go into settings and then go to advanced, scroll all the way button down here, you'll see control settings, hit customize. Now you can do this in a custom game, but for demonstration purposes and to save time, I'm just gonna do it here. And you wanna go to this one here, keyboard mapping. And then the first thing you wanna do is grab this one here, control direction. Drag that here and put it on the cross here that we used to control. Then you wanna grab this one here to fire weapons. From there, you can label this left click, by the way. One, two, three, and four. Next thing you'll wanna do is grab this one here. Move the, mount, the mouse to rotate the viewer. So you'll do that, and then I will label this one control. You can label it whatever you want, but I highly recommend control. From there, for the main ability, and you go space, and then for the secondary ability of your Titans, for active modules, Q, and for motherships, F. So this is the setup I would use to uh, in War Robots. It's very close to the official uh, setup for Steam platform. It is important to say that if you're just starting out playing on PC for War Robots, I highly recommend you play on one of the official PC platforms, which is Steam or My Games, just so you know exactly what you're doing and that you get comfortable with it. And then once you finish all of this setup, and this by the way can be put anywhere, it doesn't matter where this one is put, just hit save, and then you should go back and now let's hop into a custom game to test out our controls. Okay, so we have landed here on Dreadnought in the custom games. Hold on, I'm lagging out for a second. Okay, so we have we have landed on Dredge, ugh, Dreadnought for the testing. First of all, let's hit control. It hides our cursor. We can move around freely. Left click. We can fire. Now let's try and move. W A S M D. Okay. Then space for our ability. And then let's try single firing. That's three and four in the case of the Orochi. Then we can try Q for our active module. Alright, so everything seems to be working nicely here, which is what you want. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, exit this custom game. <clears throat> and that, guys, is how you can set up LD player for war robots. I do hope this was a helpful guide for some of you guys and some people who are trying to find how to set it up. So I hope this video helps. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Deadshot out.